so <clears throat> so pretty recently i have done a fresh install of my void linux and the image which i was using was like rather old for installation i didn't do a network install so whenever i try to do a sudo xbps dash install uh, sorry sudo xbps install dash su to synchronize the mirrors and update my system it's telling me like it's having this transient resolver failure so if i hit enter nothing's going to work because you have this error so if you're getting a transient resolver failure you can fix that by using uh, let's open up our resolve in slash etc and resolve.conf by using our text editor so either you can use uh, emacs or vim that's really up to you or any other text editor for that matter and here inside this name server session what i had to do was i had to specify this name server for my network so for your network depending on your system it may vary so you can specify the name server and let me save this and exit and if i do sudo xbps installed as su it's going to like you can see it's currently synchronizing the repositories without any error and it's giving me like a have update for my kernel and my browser so that's how you fix that error so let's leave that over here similarly if you are getting an update error like if your xbps is not working sometimes when you install with an older image uh, for example if i open up a second terminal like if i'm using an older image to install my fresh distribution sometimes you may need to update your package manager because you may get some ssl error or something like that so every distribution is having some sort of security measure to prevent tampering of their system so they change this CS certificates or something like that so for void linux you can bypass this like not bypass you can update your xpps by using this command so if you do a sudo uh, let me bring up that again so if you do a sudo ssl no verify uh like sudo ssl in uppercase underscore no uppercase again underscore verify underscore fear equals true and if we specify xpps install dash s and xpps again this is going to reinstall xpps with uh, a newer version of xpps without trying to verify the ssl certificates so if you are getting those ca certificate errors you can try this one so this one will fix that issue for you so that's what like i have experienced when i did a fresh install um i told you this because uh like if i open up my browser you can see if i go to not now not now if i open up like word linux you can see the installation image which they have inside their website if i go to downloads can see this live image is of uh, 2021 february so if you install from these images you may get those errors so you can bypass them by following these two methods so first you have to update your xpps by using this command you have to update your xpps by using this command then after that you can like uh, if you're having a resolve failure you can fix that with other command going to your resolve conf and edit that uh, 
you go to sudo vim etc.conf you enter your password and you change your name server over here then you save and exit and if you do a sudo ssl this one it's going to update xpps then you can do a sudo xpps dash install dash s why you like if you specify why it's not going to ask you for a feedback like let me check yeah it's finished for me so if i do this if i have any updates it will not ask me to confirm it will directly install those updates anyway so that's how you perform a full system upgrade from an older image on Wild linux so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day